please come out of the bathroom. Eric, this is simply not the behavior of a mature professional person. <laughs> Sorry, Mother. Mm. What have you got behind your back? Nothing. This vase again! Why do you always have this vase? What's it for? Nothing. Then why do you always sneak it onto my bedside table at night? Why do you always wave it behind my back when I've scolded you? What do you keep in here? Nothing. <sighs> well, you're sulking about the Monopoly game with Graham and Susan, aren't you? Because you lost, didn't you? No. They both won lots of money and you won no money at all. And that means you lost, doesn't it? No. Why not? Because it's my board. The three Ds, Eric. That's what it takes to be a winner. Discipline, determination, and diligence. Don't I always tell you that during our morning spank? <laughs> well, I think it's time Eric went and sat in Eric's naughty cupboard. Don't you, Eric? Mm, well, on you go. Mr. Loser Pants. Don't do that, Eric. <laughs> One day you're going to have to do without me, Eric. Where will you be then? <laughs> no French teachers. No French teachers. Mr. Slatt? Mr. Loser Pants. Eric! Yes, yes, come in, yes. Oh, good heavens, the lower half. <laughs> After 15 years of marriage, I'd rather assume you stopped at the waist, like a newsreader. Well, I've always been quite riveted by your legs, dear. Why do you bother with hosiery when you could just comb them? <laughs> you guys want to be alone for this? You wanted to see Miss Travis about the match, didn't you? Miss Travis, please sit down. Janet, please go away. <laughs> Just a little tip, dear. You're going to look ridiculous without some socks. I'm wearing socks. I didn't mean there, dear. <laughs> right. Right. You take David Jefford for English, don't you? Tell me everything about him. <sighs> nice kid. Good in class. Why? What do you mean, why? He's captaining the pupils' team. Well, I know, but... Look, I appreciate you're new here. But Galfast High's most important and honoured tradition is the staff pupil friendly. It's very important to school morale that we grind those bastards into tiny piles of dust and dance on their graves. You don't think you're taking this a little bit seriously? This is our annual opportunity to demonstrate the virtues of strategy, fair play and sportsmanship. <laughs> Mr Hamburg, have you told them it's five aside? No, that wouldn't work twice. <laughs> so what about David Jefford? Ah, yes. I've had his homework double for the last two weeks, criticised him publicly at morning assembly, and started a couple of rumours with some amusing toilet graffiti. But he still seems happy here. Well, he's got every reason. <laughs> he's he's good-looking, intelligent, popular, athletic. Now, there must be some way we can undermine him. <laughs> Janet! Fetch David Jefford from his classroom. <laughs> Can't you just behave like an adult and leave him alone? Now, everyone has some hidden weakness. Some traitorous flaw just waiting to destroy them. Some treacherous fallibility <laughs> lurking in their psyche like a French teacher. For God's sake. I'm sorry. Like a what? Like a French teacher. A teacher of French. M lurking in their psyche like a French teacher. Yes. Yes. Is there a problem? I know I'm going to regret asking, but, but could you expand on the French teacher comparison? <laughs> oh, God, Miss Travis. Miss Travis! French teachers have been living among us like ordinary citizens for decades now. <laughs> Unquestioned, unsuspected. Countless thousands have been spent on them in that time. Books, equipment, personnel. Every school is compelled to have them on the staff, and virtually all of us have been exposed to their influence while still impressionable young children. Yes, I, I suppose. Yeah, well, what have they been doing? 
Doesn't it bother you that none of us can speak French? <laughs> <laughs> They've got kids out there right now in the language lab, in booths, with earphones on. <laughs> but none of them can remember a single thing that ever happens in there. <laughs> Let me get this straight. You are paranoid about the true purpose of French teachers. Well, apart from anything else, Miss Travis, they can all speak French. <laughs> and they certainly didn't learn that here. Oh, don't let me be Mr. Loser Pants. <laughs> what? Sorry. Sorry. I, uh... <laughs> Momentary lapse won't happen again. Oh, for heaven's sake, where is that Jefford boy? Janet! I need a word with you, young man. You sure there's nothing we can get him on? Oh, for God's sake! Right. It'll have to be the old standby. Your mother just phoned. She's had a look under your bed. <laughs> Step inside, please. <laughs> uh, don't sit down. Magazines, David. Self-abuse stimulant magazines. You do know what self-abuse is, don't you, David? Of course. A certain amount of that sort of thing is perfectly normal. Two, perhaps three times in your lifetime. <laughs> Have you indulged more often than that already, David? Have you used up your goes? <laughs> no. Well, that's not what your parents tell me. You disappear upstairs and there's a certain amount of noise. A certain amount of shaking. <laughs> Imagine their shock when they discovered they weren't on the flight path. <laughs> then, of course, there's the street lamp. You are aware that the cabling for the street lighting runs through the wall of your house, that the junction box is just by your bedroom. <laughs> the street lamp outside your house has been flashing on and off in time with you. <laughs> Beacon of self abuse. <laughs> Dave's doing it, Dave's doing it faster and faster. Twice now, the bulb has blown. Your <laughs> friends come for miles just to watch it. Your parents can't show their faces in public. Such is the death of their humiliation. I understand your aunt died recently, David. Of shame. <laughs> anyway, I just thought I'd better mention it. Good luck in the match this afternoon. No. Perhaps not. <laughs> oh, that's, uh, thanks for coming. Oh. That was the sickest thing I've ever seen. I don't think you'll be much trouble now, do you? I mean, that's street lamp stuff. Do you actually think that kind of thing happens in the real world? Get that, will you? Hello, Eric Slat's phone. I want to speak to Eric Slat. Uh, I'm afraid he's just popped out. He, he shouldn't be long. Well, Tell him I've decided to come to the school after all. I shall be there quite shortly. And who is this? His mother. <laughs> His mother? That's right, yes. And where exactly are you speaking from, Mrs Slat? I'm on the car phone. Does it matter? R right, yeah. You tell him I expect to be met. If I'm not, I'll tell everyone the story about the street lamp. <laughs> Street lamp. You'll know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I think he will. Uh, Mrs. Slat, do you mind if I ask you something? No. No what? How are you? Fine. <laughs> Great. See you later then. Who was it? One guess. <laughs> oh, I, I see. So. She's not dead, then. Dead? No, she's not dead. Mothers don't just die, you know. <laughs> 1932 to 1996. This year. Well, I'd just like to keep a running total. <laughs> and what's this? So put it back at once. You've got an urn ready for your mother. <laughs> it's just, you know, 
For an emergency. Put it back, please. And something else I can't help noticing. Would you please put it back at once, if you will? Who does she look like? Yes, yes, I know. Napoleon. <laughs> well, I suppose you need to see her in a full costume. <laughs> She's Janet. I'm sorry? Look at her. She's Janet. She's the spitting image of your wife. Well, don't be absurd. I mean, they are practically twins. Doesn't that worry you at all? But Miss Travis, are you suggesting there is something unhealthy about my relationship with my wife? <laughs> unhealthy? You've married your mother. <laughs> That's not a relationship. It's, it's an attempt at re-entry. I really don't have time to spend listening to your socialist nonsense. Excuse me. What does Janet think? About what? About this! Well, they haven't met, have they? Why should they meet? They'd only start talking about things. <laughs> You've never seen them both in the same room at the same time. Be very afraid. <laughs> this conversation is over. Oh, of course. They're going to meet today, aren't they? Certainly not. My mother has her orders and so does my wife. It's worked perfectly well until now. No, listen. And Miss Travis, I truly feel pity for you. You seem capable of reading some form of sexual deviance into the most innocent circumstance. <laughs> And now, if you'll excuse me, I'm wearing my lucky shorts and I've got 11 kids to thrash. Look, Mr. Stan! <laughs> ah, Mr. Stan, I see you're ready for the big match today. Yes, yes, indeed, yes. Well, as long as the kids understand, it's not the winning, it's the taking part. I tell them myself, Headmaster, I think they swallowed it. <laughs> Good, splendid. Right, little word, everyone! Now, Mr. Slatter, I must protest about all these knees. No, you mustn't. Go away. <laughs> Today, as you all know, is the big match. Today, we demonstrate the superior strengths of maturity, dignity, and the wisdom that only age and a teaching qualification can bring. Arseholes, tossers, turds. <laughs> yes, thank you, Mr. Cockdale. Very apposite. Mr. Slatter. Now, our conversation is terminated, Miss Travis. The three Ds, everyone. That's what it takes to be winners. Discipline, determination, and diligence. I get my wife to drum that into me every morning, and quite frankly, I'm going to like it. <laughs> so, let's get a few things straight in our heads, whether we're in the team or simply cheering from the sidelines. Fact, we got a match today. Fact, we're going to win it, because if we don't win it, we are finished. Screwed, buggered, fact. Exactly. <laughs> Mr. Humboldt, how's our side shaping up? Uh, not bad. Not bad. <laughs> uh, no driver teachers, it's a communal shower. Mr. Slat, if I could have one. <laughs> no, you can't. Go away. I've got a message for you. Not interested. It's just disgusting, isn't it? It's all out of control. All these men in shorts parading their knees. I'm warning you, I think there's going to be an accident any minute now. There's only Mr. Slat. Oh, who's counting? Knees, knees, knees. <laughs> What's wrong with the heating in this Thank <laughs> you.